What if you could travel in time? Time travel, moving between different points in time, has been a popular topic for science fiction for decades. Franchises ranging from Doctor Who to Star Trek to Back to the Future have seen humans get in a vehicle of some sort and arrive in the past or future ready to take on a new adventure. Each come with their own time travel theories. The reality, however, is more muddled. Not all scientists believe that time travel is possible. Some even say that an attempt would be fatal to any human who chooses to undertake it. So what is time? And are we able to travel through it? In this video, we will take a look at different theories and see what might happen if you could travel in time. Before we look at this, a quick reminder to give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it and also to subscribe to Brain Impact for more videos just like this one. But now, back to time travel. Time travel is something you are doing right now. Every single second of every single day, you are advancing into your future. You are literally moving through time, the same way you would move through space. It may seem dull, but it's a very important point. Movement through time is still movement, and you are reaching your own future. The best part is, with a little engineering, you can press the fast forward button if you want to. We know through the physics of Einstein's special theory of relativity that you can trade motion in time. If you're standing perfectly still, you're moving through the dimension of time at a particular speed, the speed of light, which is 186,000 miles per second. As soon as you start moving through space, however, you slow down your rate of moving through time. In other words, the faster you move in space, the slower you move in time. So a person inside a spaceship would age much slower than his twin at home. Physicists have considered time travel to be theoretically possible since Einstein came up with his theory. His calculations suggest it's possible for an object in our universe to travel through space and time in a circular direction, eventually ending up at a point on its journey where it's been before. This path is called a closed time-like curve, meaning, in theory, you could actually go back in time. What people want to do with time machines is to go into the past and change it. You can't. The past already happened, and it can't unhappen. You might wonder what's to stop you from jumping into your time machine, finding your high school self, convincing them that they really shouldn't go to prom after all, thereby saving yourself all sorts of humiliation. But if you really did go to the prom, then that can't happen. The simple way out, of course, is to suppose that travel into the past is simply impossible. But even if it's not, you can't change what already happened. Every event in space-time is characterized by certain things occurring, and those things are fixed once and for all once they happen. If you did manage to go back in time to your years in high school, something would prevent you from dissuading your younger self from doing anything other than what they actually did, even if you tried really hard. The most famous example of this is known as the grandfather paradox. If a time traveler goes back to the past and kills a younger version of his or her grandfather, the grandfather then wouldn't have any children, erasing the time traveler's parents and, of course, the time traveler too. But then who would kill grandpa? So although it may be theoretically possible to travel back in time, you couldn't change how events unfolded significantly enough to alter the future. But traveling in time is not an easy task. If it's the future you want to travel to, you have to get close to the speed of light, which is really hard to do. To give you some perspective, astronauts that orbit the Earth at tens of thousands of miles per hour are off by only a microsecond or so from our clocks on the ground. Our fastest human spacecraft can't even manage a tenth of a percent of the speed of light. But if you could somehow spend a good amount of time close to the ultimate speed limit in the universe, the slower your clock will run and you will travel through time into the future. Nothing would feel different for you, but after a couple years journey, you would return to the Earth to find our clocks advanced by thousands or even tens of thousands of years, depending on how fast you go. Most fictional accounts of time travel are rife with paradoxes, parallel universes, and plot holes that violate strict physical laws. The notion that one version of time travel is more accurate than another might seem ridiculous on its surface, but physicists actually have rather a lot to say about how time travel should work. Some, in their more fanciful moments, have even devised ways to exploit Einstein's theory of relativity to come up with practical models of time machines. 
Kip Thorne describes how wormholes can be successfully used to travel back in time, and J. Richard Gott does the same with a gargantuan cosmic string moving at close to the speed of light. Looking at all the information we do have about time travel, would it be worth going back into the past if we are unable to change anything? There would be little point in watching it happen all over again as you would already know the outcome. The future, it seems, is already happening, albeit very slowly. But why would you want to rush things? It will only bring your demise here that much quicker. Which way would you go if you had a time machine and it was possible to travel in time? Would you try and change anything? Let us know in the comments box and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to Brain Impact for more. Thanks for watching.